in the endless void of space where no sound can travel, something impossible happened. A faint whisper came from more than 12 billion miles away, a signal that didn't belong to any known source. It wasn't random noise or cosmic interference. It was structured, deliberate, and carrying Voyager 2's unmistakable signature. For decades, Voyager 2 had drifted silently through the darkness, a lone emissary from Earth launched in 1977. Its mission was simple, to explore the outer planets and send data back to humanity. After completing its grand tour of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the spacecraft crossed into the interstellar unknown, still sending faint signals back home. But this new transmission, it wasn't like anything NASA had ever received. Engineers at the Deep Space Network detected it unexpectedly during what was supposed to be a silent phase. Voyager 2 had gone out of alignment weeks earlier after a wrong command tilted its antenna two degrees away from Earth. For that brief time, contact was completely lost. No data, no beeps, nothing. Then suddenly, a weak signal pulsed back into their systems. It carried an unusual binary sequence, repeating again and again, 10111011, 0101011 over and over. When they checked the frequency range, it was slightly shifted, almost as if something had changed Voyager's transmission parameters, something it shouldn't be capable of doing on its own. At first, NASA dismissed it as data corruption caused by cosmic radiation, but when analysts cleaned and reconstructed the raw code, they noticed a strange pattern buried deep within the noise. When converted into a visual grid, the data formed a spiral pattern, identical to the one Voyager once recorded while photographing Jupiter's great red spot decades earlier. It was too precise to be coincidence. It looked intentional. NASA's engineers were stunned. How could a spacecraft powered by a 50-year-old radioisotope battery generate a signal pattern resembling a planetary storm? And why now, after years of stable communication? Even more puzzling, the data contained anomalies. Temperature readings that were too high, radiation spikes that didn't match known interstellar conditions, and a sudden increase in background magnetic interference. It was as if Voyager 2 had entered a region of space unlike anything encountered before. Scientists began to speculate. Had Voyager crossed some kind of electromagnetic boundary? Perhaps the edge of a new, unknown region beyond the heliopause? Or worse, had it detected something artificial? When analysts translated parts of the transmission into audio, it produced a rhythmic pulse, a mechanical, almost breathing-like sound. It wasn't random static. It had structure and repetition, like a signal trying to communicate in patterns we didn't yet understand. But what came next pushed this mystery even further. Inside the repeating binary sequence, data engineers found an encoded timestamp, a reference to Earth's solar date, which Voyager shouldn't have been able to calculate anymore. Somehow, the transmission seemed to mark a specific point in time, and it matched the exact moment Earth's magnetic field experienced a rare, unexplained fluctuation a few weeks earlier. NASA scientists privately began to call it the mirror event. The data from Voyager 2 and Earth's magnetic anomaly appeared synchronized, as if something out there had responded to something happening here. Still, NASA remained quiet. No public statement, no press release. They merely confirmed that contact with Voyager 2 had been re-established. But behind the scenes, deep space analysts and physicists were racing to understand what the signal truly meant. Meanwhile, a group of independent astronomers monitoring the same frequencies through publicly accessible antennas noticed that the transmission briefly spiked, almost like it was scanning or targeting Earth specifically. Then, within seconds, it vanished again. Some thought it was a glitch. Others believed Voyager 2 had encountered something alive, something capable of interacting with it. As the mystery grew, NASA decoded the last complete segment of data. It appeared to describe changes in the plasma field surrounding the probe, as if the very fabric of space around Voyager 2 was shifting. And hidden in those readings was a single repeating coordinate, 
a direction pointing straight back toward our solar system. Voyager 2, the spacecraft built to explore, had apparently turned its attention home. When NASA's team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory reconstructed the final message packet, they discovered something that made their hearts race. It wasn't just data. It was a transmission containing a precise numeric model, a time-based projection. In simple terms, Voyager 2's instruments were mapping a wave of energy moving through interstellar space. It seemed to be traveling toward the heliosphere, the protective bubble around our solar system that shields us from cosmic radiation. But what shocked scientists most was the timing. Based on Voyager's last measurements, that wave, whatever it was, would reach the solar boundary in less than 10 years. The probe wasn't just sending data, it was sending a warning. According to the decoded numbers, the energy density beyond the heliopause had spiked nearly 600% in just the last two years. That's not normal. Interstellar space is incredibly stable. A jump that large means something extraordinary is happening, perhaps a nearby supernova shockwave or even a distortion in the galactic magnetic field. The data suggested that Voyager 2 had entered a region filled with charged particles moving at high velocity, a cosmic storm with unknown origin. And if that wave keeps moving toward our system, it could compress the heliosphere, allowing more radiation to enter the inner solar system, including Earth. The engineers compared the readings to older transmissions from Voyager 1, its twin, still operating billions of miles away. Voyager 1 had also recorded small fluctuations, but nothing this extreme. The two probes, separated by light years, seemed to be observing the same phenomenon from different angles. That's when someone noticed something eerie. The data packets from Voyager 2, when plotted over time, seemed to mirror a frequency cycle already observed in Earth's magnetosphere, a pulse pattern occurring roughly every 11 years coinciding with the solar cycle. Was it possible the probe was detecting the same cosmic rhythm but from the outside looking in? If so, then Voyager 2 might have just recorded the beginning of a solar event unlike any before, a storm from beyond the heliopause strong enough to disturb even our sun's magnetic field. NASA's public reports remained cautious. They admitted to unexpected data irregularities, but avoided speculation. Yet several astrophysicists quietly shared concerns that Voyager 2's warning could indicate the approach of an interstellar shockwave, one capable of altering the balance of radiation entering our planetary system. Privately, one researcher described it this way. If the data is right, something big is moving out there, something that wasn't supposed to exist within a thousand light years of us. The mystery deepened when scientists attempted to simulate the incoming energy pattern. Using plasma physics models, they discovered that the waveform resembled the signature of a rapidly expanding magnetic anomaly, not unlike the remnants of a collapsed star. But the direction didn't point toward any known supernova. So, where was it coming from? Some theorized that Voyager 2 might have stumbled upon the boundary of a long-dead stellar explosion, a shockwave still traveling across the galaxy. Others believed it could be something artificial, a field generated by unknown technology, possibly alien in nature. But one particular detail sent chills down the team's spine. In the final section of the decoded transmission, Voyager's onboard clock had somehow reset itself, not to zero, but to an earlier date, the day of its original launch, August 20th, 1977. It was as if the probe had looped back in time, or perhaps received an instruction to return to its beginning. Some experts brushed it off as a software glitch caused by radiation, but others couldn't ignore the coincidence. It felt symbolic, a message hidden in numbers, echoing through deep space, we are back where we started.